Hi everyone, my name's Amy Wynn, and yes, I do run for lunch with a social enterprise based in Manchester. And as you can probably tell, I'm not from Manchester, I'm from London. Don't shoot me, please. Um, but Manchester's my adopted home. Um, I moved here when I was 19 to study at the University of Manchester. I did politics and economics and absolutely loved my degree. So six years on, I'm now 25 and still running my business. So I don't know how that's happened, but it's happened. Um, and I, my experiences at university, for me personally, were fantastic. There were so many opportunities to get involved in societies, further my studies, um, and the social life in Manchester was amazing too. So the volunteering that the university, the opportunities that came through the university in that respect, actually defined um, my journey with For Lunch. I had that kind of crisis in my final year when I didn't know what I was going to do after my degree. Um, so I started volunteering at a young person's charity and could see that um, the young people I was working with, there were multiple barriers for them to access opportunities, especially in work, um, if they'd been homeless as well. It just seems like a big challenge, so there's multiple barriers there. But then I also observed that the food and catering and hospitality industries were booming in Manchester, so there was a huge opportunity there. So I kind of put the barriers and the opportunities together uh, and created my business. So the University of Manchester were really helpful. At the time, there were business competitions um, available for me to enter, and uh, I was successful in receiving around £6,000 from the university to start the business. And now I run it full time. Um, that £6,000 probably wouldn't have gone very far in London. And I was able to live really thriftily in Fallowfield um, whilst I was uh, establishing myself. And, um, you know, starting up a business isn't easy, it never is. Um, but I found that there was a lot of support out there for so social enterprises and startups from the Business Growth Hub and the School of Social Entrepreneurs, which is based in Salford. Um, that amazing support network and the networking opportunities that came from that helped me to really build my business. So Manchester, for me, it's quite small. <laughs> so um, it's small enough for me to navigate, but it's large enough for there to be a multitude of opportunities as well. And I think what I want to say about this motion is that you really just have to stand up and be heard and have the confidence to think that what you have to say is of value and that you are worth listening to. And this confidence and this self-esteem, it's not, it's not easy to build. Um, as Christine was talking about, upbringing is pretty important in this, actually. My mom really ingrained in me to succeed academically, and that, I think, transferred itself to me wanting to succeed in, in the social enterprise as well. Um, so I really have to have her to thank for that. The standards that were set for me were pretty high, actually. And I carry on those standards with my business and with the people that I work with. Unfortunately, the business support that was given to some of my uh, former learners was basically like, oh, so you've got children, but you don't have a partner, so I don't think you, your business is going to work. That, that kind of attitude from business coaches was just so disrespectful, actually. And actually, at the moment, I'm working with... Um, Three young, uh, three mums. One is a Libyan woman who wants to start her own catering business, and the other two, um, they want to start a cake business together. And um, I've got to tell you, the attitudes between the, the two businesses and the two, the, the mums that are starting to run these, is the Libyan lady. She has a really steely determination that she's going to do it. She, the, the, the kind of drive in her eyes and energy is something that is really inspiring to me. But, but the other two, the other two mums, they have a lot of self-doubt as well, which will overcome, you know, through coaching and um, through support, and just ha having that gentle encouragement to say that, you know, you take your time. It's up to you to define what success is for you, but just keep going. But it's, for me, it's it's mindset. It's absolutely to do with your mindset and what your mind is telling you what you can achieve and what you can't. So success is what you really define it to be. A lot of People are like, why don't you take Four Lunch International? But I'm like, no, I'm actually quite happy to do it in Manchester and be steady here and just take my time with it and not to focus too much on, you know, revenue and profit and all that kind of thing, but more of the quality of the relationships that I'm trying to build with my business. Um, and that's, it's taken a while for me to say to myself, that's okay, like, don't worry about other people's standards for your life and your business. You think about what is of value to you and you should 
stick to those guns and you know have have the kind of you know have the, have the courage to say that as well and that's why I say to the moms that I'm coaching at the moment is to say you know actually what are your priorities in life what are your values how can this business fit around your family as well um, so it's all about empowerment and just saying that yeah you know you can do it it's up to you to define what it is though and don't you know listening to statistics you know about how it's not working for women can be quite depressing you know are you going to just listen to that and say oh well I better give up then, you know, it's not going to be great. If you're, if you're going to think that the boom isn't working for women, it's probably not going to work for you because you're thinking that it's not going to. Do you know what I mean? It's all about your mindset. Um, so I would just like to like finish off with a story because part of what I define as success is, personally for me, is to travel one month out of 12. Um, so, you know, just go on a sabbatical um, and kind of find myself or something like that. So um, I was lucky enough to travel to uh, Thailand um, during my second year of business in January. And I've just come back from India, so I spent a month there. And there was, I met a lady who runs cookery courses from her house. Um, her name's Nimi, and she was the most inspiring lady. She works like, ridiculous hours at school as well, doing the catering offer for them. But she invites tourists into her house to do cookery, cookery workshops, and I found that was amazing. Um, but the thing is, her family... Um, she's from a wealthy family, and her family don't like the fact that she's working. They think it brings shame on upon the family. And there are other, other cultural and social barriers for her to be successful. If she was here in Manchester, she'd probably be like the no next Nigella Lawson. You know, she, there, If you work hard here, you can make it. It really is up to you to define that you want that for yourself. Um, so I'd like to finish off with a mantra, really, which is everything that you think you become. So don't think that the boom isn't working for women. Think that it is, and it will work for you. <laughs>